of Anglia unit. Four by six, nine one eight. Just waiting on one crossing as usual. Look, most few in the world will have a moment to charge the other one racing time. So it'll have to do. It is Monday the 11th of October 2021 at 12.32. This will be the 12.32 DB Cargo service from Toton to Toton. Which on this circuit turns around at Holton Lamour signal box and obscures the road for 10 minutes. in platform 4 rather than the old main It's now 12.36, this is the 1309 London North Eastern Railway service from Peterborough to Doncaster. It's not too far away as well, you come right out the way up here. You can see, it's just a sense of right now. So everything for some reason is working really quickly, as opposed to really slowly. Sam training half an hour because he's early. Is the intermodal active? No. So after this, the next train is basically um, 10 past one. This was supposed to wait in P5, which for knowing's sake is empty. But this doesn't hang around and it's not going to hang around in the loop either. It's going to go straight forwards to Saxel Bay to then start the next run back again. This, I think, is a, I want to say it's a nine car on this diagram today. Probably wrong.
Doncaster stuff. This will be the 1319 service from Middleton to Barnby Dunn. This will be the 1313 Northern Train service from Sheffield. It's already waiting to come through. I it's going to get pretty busy. One freight train just past Sachs will be one waiting the way at Stowe Park. The delayed one being the one waiting the way at Stowe Park. Get into the thick of the passengers again. Start with the 1324 London, followed by four local services. There's only us that's gone down. It's 
if I wait for the other two crossings. It is now 13.15, this is the 13.19 from Musgrove to Felixstowe. And off in the very distance goes the third crossing that we need. bunch of squashed together passenger trains. Whilst the Whitemore trains are just at Roskington, so he's not running as early as he usually would. It's only 10 minutes early. Six seven two six. Which I think is either Sheffield Wednesday or Derby County. For 6830, as the trains stopped working at Roskington Station, so 2K14 is being stopped there. Just check the incident log, and I can't show that because of data protection. At least the initial ones from that direction. Well, so I can confirm, like I say, from instant lock six echo three zero six six seven nine seven failed on the what hell, um, down Spalding line at Ruskington Station. So he's come to a halt at the platform. Been good stopping skills. It's sure need to pass sleep for northern speed. They didn't have nothing ahead of them. Anyway, it's no 1323, it's for 1324 London North Eastern Railway, so it's to London Kings Cross. The 1320. 
29 is Blunt's Railway Service Leicester Grimsby, 13.30 Northern Train Service Sheffield, 12.59 Freightliner Service Doncaster Felix Stop. Train one approaching. Two approaching. With your reliability of our trains in general, I think we should use the Tampa siding at Metheringham to store a temporary Thunderbird. That could then have got 797 off of Ruskington and reopened the line. Off at 799. Three minutes until the next departure, but there's a freight train in the area. waiting for them and we're also again waiting for Sitzel Bank because this is a freight train he thinks but firstly it's basically 1329 this with the 1330 northern train service to Sheffield freight train has now arrived in the up Gainsborough slow awaiting to come through I think what they'll actually do is keep him back even further and send him behind 2k13 in about 10 minutes time. But then he's got to wait for that again at Sleaford. And during the days the passenger runs would have gone through St Mark's and the freight train would have got through here by now. 
so that was the advantage at that point. Five zero one seven. Sheffield. So that Sinsel Bank has gone down. So next is the twelve fifty nine freight line of service from Doncaster to Felixstowe and the thirteen thirty three Midlands Railway service from Doncaster to Peterborough. So the freight train's going to go up, down, up. passenger train behind him so we're going to be staying down whether we like it or not sixty six five six two Can confirm from route control 6 echo 30 declared failure at Ruskington. Okay, fine, I'll show as much as I can. Six two for Felix Stowe. Now once that's clear, we've got to wait for a local train to come through. Oh Christ! Even the Grimsby Leicester's running like, and he's not caught be nothing. Oh, because the Sandites ahead of him again. They come off of Holton Lamore. That explains it then. Because you can't have two trains there at the same time if one's turning round. Make 
shouldn't even be there yet. I think they've got Edco's mixed up. Looks like our team has repathed the natural passenger train as the sun died. So they refix the head code up now. I'm going to say that so I shouldn't go back so quickly. He's not even at Alton the Moor yet. Right, the final passenger train, which is one that covers the whole of our network, and it's one of the um, temporary purple 158s. This one's 158774. Through East Midlands Railway service from Doncaster to Peterborough. And at eight minutes, the barriers go back up. It's a regional train. It is 13.42, this middle late 13.35, East Midlands Railway service from Grimsby Town to Leicester. Progress on 6E30 and declared himself failure. No idea where the recovery unit's coming from. Nothing shown over at Doncaster, nothing shown over at Peterborough. There's obviously been way too far to send anything from further afield just to get it to Roskington. That's the 1349 Doncaster was terminated at Sleaford due to a fault on a train in front of this one. standing and if we could the roof but we're not allowed to do that thanks for watching we'll see you next time